Psalm 136, 4. Le osse niflaot gedolot le vado, ki le olam chasdo. In this context, the psalmist has called the congregation some three times already to give thanks to the Lord, God, the Lord. Come back to that. But now he gets into explaining a little bit more of what's going on. The la here is going to be um, kind of unfolding, we might say, who this God is, or rather what his chesed character is. So, uh, who does great wonders, he alone, because to forever is his covenantal loyalty. Or we might smooth that out to say, his covenantal loyalty endures forever. Let us say, you know, we can see all of our root letters here. This is a verb, ayin, sin, he. So this is a kal participle, so to do. But again, it's the lo that's used within the context of the psalm. So we, we want to get at how this lamed really um, has the possessive sense in the case of these are characteristics that belong to his chesed, that is his covenantal loyalty. Now the idea here of great wonders, uh, this of course is used in scriptures especially to refer to the terrible curses that God poured out upon the Egyptians during the redemption of Israel from Egypt. Uh, within the psalm, though, this idea of great wonders is going to be applied very broadly. This is the umbrella term, the great wonders of the Lord, that is going to be filled out in the next verses. So verse 1 said, Praise Hashem. Verse 2 spoke of praising the God of gods. Verse 3 speaks of praising or thanking the Lord uh, of lords. So praise um, Israel's God, God and Lord. And then beginning with verse 4, we have the umbrella term for all of this thanksgiving namely because of his great wonders, which will be unfolded in the next verses.